is May 5th. It is a gray spitty day in the Vancouver area. It's 11 degrees. It's a bit chilly and here I am standing outside wearing a t-shirt. Good morning to or afternoon whatever time it is for you. Good day and I hope that you are having a fantastic one so far. My name is Tracy and I am the host of the Knitting on the Float podcast and this month I am doing a daily vlog series throughout May and I am tackling our loft, straightening up my craft space and each day I am hoping to give you a little bit of nature. Today we're just overlooking the river that the house is currently sitting on and I hope to check in a little bit about the crafting I'm getting up to and then we tackle sometimes it'll be a big project sometimes it'll be a little project today we're going to finally tackle the blue dresser and it'll probably take me a lot less time than I think it's going to take which often is the case but that's what we're going to do today. But before we do that, let's go inside. Oh, there's a couple of geese on the river there. No babies with them. I went out onto the front walkway and there were no goslings out there. So I decided to come out the back today. Anyway, we're gonna go inside, have a lovely cup of tea, have a little bit of a nitty chat, and then we're going to go upstairs and do the task at hand. It is time for some tea and a quick bit of crafting chat before I head upstairs to tackle the blue dresser. I did take a look at it today and you know what? It's not all that overwhelming, although sometimes I look at it and I think it is. I know we're going to get through it in no time flat, but before we do, I think we need to just take a moment enjoy those lovely beverages. Today I am drinking toast and jam tea, Rendale Designs, and this is Lady of the House. And in our house, our cat Tasha, she rules the roost, absolutely. Anyway, today let us have a quick sip. I'm gonna share some knitting, but before we do that, let us say cheers to tackling the things that we think are gonna be overwhelming, but mastering it. So, to tackling and mastering. Last night, I continued to work on my mystery project here, and I am pretty close to at the halfway point. That felt really good. The other day, I was sharing a little tiny yummy two ply toes and the yummy two ply toes look like this that's by miss babs and it was a purple one i think i might actually be adding it to this project after all although i'm not 100 percent sure i am about to roll this one up i like with the minis to actually hand wind them into balls and this one is dark Aquarius so we are soon getting to the age of Aquarius which will be nice and I will enjoy winding this one up and then of course adding it into the project I don't know if I'll do it today or tomorrow definitely in the days ahead though the reason I may not get to it today is because I am excited to do a new cast on and I shared a little bit about what I wanted to work on yesterday and I did a little tiny bit of yarn choosing with you yesterday and then I chose some more yarns. So this is for the Shoe Sui Shrug. I went to Ravelry and went to Suzanne Summers Ravelry page and she had a little video so she pronounced it Shoe Sui so since she's the designer I'm going with that. So I am hoping to get to knitting this Shoe Sui Shrug, which has been on my to knit list for so, so long. I think I've bought about three combinations of yarn that I wanted to knit this in. Am I knitting it in the 
yarns that I bought to knit this in. No, I've chosen completely different yarns. So a beautiful, beautiful pattern with brioche and garter. And I shared with you yesterday this gorgeous pink grapefruit. This is a super sock, so it's 75% superwash merino and 25% nylon. This is called Pink Grapefruit by Nora George Yarns. And I just love, I love pink grapefruits. I love grapefruit. I don't think you can find white grapefruit anymore. It all seems to be pink grapefruit, but I love the color of pink grapefruit. And I just love grapefruit in general. So a yarn called that is always going to grab my attention. So these were the two that I pulled out yesterday. And I looked through and what I wanted was something that would make the pink jump. I had thought it would be nice to have pink and blue, but then I thought it would, I really, really wanted a nice soft pink looking shrug. So these two, and then I was thinking about some hedgerow yarns that I had in stash and I bought these skeins of Glacier and they are just really pretty. They've got these gorgeous soft pinks in them. And then of course there's little bits of blue, green, purple. So beautiful. So I thought these looked quite nice together and would be different enough that when I'm doing brioche, I could see which yarns I was using. So these are super sock and these are silky singles. So these are 70% superwash merino and 30% silk. So a little bit of a different feel in the yarn and I'm hoping that's not going to throw things too much, but it, it might make it look really quite interesting to have those two textures of yarn in there. And this will have some bounce to it, and this will have some gloss and um, strength So, with the silk. So those are the colors that I'm wanting to use for my two main colors, especially for the brioche. And I just need to figure out, do I want the pink in front or do I want the glacier in front? So I'm going to do something. I am going to swatch because I think it's better to do a little bit of brioche swatching and discover whether I like the pink in the front or the pink in the back and make that decision before I start knitting such a large piece. So these are the main colors and then in this shrug, there is, I think it's an I-cord trim, and you want something that will jump out. So I found this gorgeous one-of-a-kind, and it's a Stellina, it's called Midas, and this is another Hedgerow Yarns. It is Superwash Merino Nylon, and then Bronze Stellina. But I absolutely love it, and I think because it's got these little bits of blue in here, I think it's really going to help pop, especially along the um, I-cord edging. And I think these three together will look absolutely beautiful. A nice, soft sweater shrug to wear whenever I finish it. Anyway, those are what I am thinking of knitting up and I have pulled them all out of stash and my reward today for getting that blue table cleaned up is that I get to wind some yarn so that will be a very exciting thing but before I go upstairs and do that I think I want a little bit more caffeine in my system so we're just going to take a few minutes and then I will dream of the shusi, shusui shrug as I work upstairs today. It's a rainy day. Let's be honest. 
this is what I would rather be doing right now than going upstairs to tackle the blue dresser. I would like to be snuggled up, cozy and warm, and casting on something new. But that will have to wait for a little bit, and I will get to it today. I really will. I have been procrastinating this all morning. It is now early afternoon. I can do it. I can do it. I know I can. It's, it's really not that much. It just, it's a pile. There's also a pile in the corner here. We are not tackling the pile on top of the yarn bins. We are only tackling the top of the blue dresser. And the exciting thing is I've brought my yarn up. So once I'm finished, I get to use my gorgeous Swift and my wonderful ball winder, which both need a bit of a dusting. Definitely the ball winder needs a dusting. And then we get to go in the drawers here and pick out a project bag for my Shusui shrug. So that will be an exciting thing and definitely worthwhile. I just don't know where to start. And I guess that's part of the issue when you are tackling an area, you just don't know what to do with. And I'm just afraid, I guess I'm, I'm just gonna put it all on the desk. I don't know what I'll do. Anyway, here is the space saver that I had those two blankets in. And these are great. And so I'm not getting rid of it. I'm just going to put it in the linen closet because every once in a while I need to put something in it. So they zip up. There's a little spot here so that you can vacuum it and it sucks all the air out. So these are great things to have. And yeah, I'm just going to pop it in the linen closet. So one thing done. Two days ago, what was I doing? I was moving stuff off of the chest, like my little thing of hand spun yarns. And what did I do? I just put them on top of here because that's always the smartest thing to do, isn't it? <sighs> I don't know what I'm gonna do with these. I have a little bin with yarns in it, so right now I'm just gonna pop that in there and that will be something I have to deal with another time. And I do have my bags. I use just extra large bags to pop yarn into. And again, I'm gonna put this in the bin with some extra yarns. This bin here has some hand sewing things in it. I've shared this on the podcast quite a while ago. This was a little treasure chest that Isaac made for me many, many years ago. It says, I love you inside now. There had been a poem and at one point, Isaac was very angry with me and, he ripped it out and stole this back, but then he felt bad, so he put, I love you. And that's where I keep some of my threads. In here I have some needles, and I also have some more threads. I've got some hexes, so just to Sort of grab and do a little bit of hand sewing. I'm actually going to put this by the sewing machine. I don't know that anything's actually going to be put away properly today. It's all just going to be pushed elsewhere and then I'm going to have to deal with it in another day. Part of why I've been avoiding the blue table is because I put these framed pictures. There's my convocation from the University of Toronto. I have these framed pictures and I'm not sure where to put them. We are in a much smaller space than our previous house. In the previous house, I had fireplace mantles that I could put pictures on and a lot more space. Here, there's not really a whole lot of flat surfaces that take photographs as well as at the other house. So I'm not sure what to do with these. I'm gonna put these over by the china cabinet for now 
and I will be having to deal with them in the days ahead, kind of like a lot of other stuff I'm putting away. This is my Lazy Kate for my spinning wheel. But unfortunately, I believe Scout got a hold of this when she was a puppy. So it still works, but not quite as effectively as it did when it was perfect, but it still goes together. Still works, so no point tossing it. And this will hopefully get set up when we get the spinning wheel all set up too. These are lots of lovely buttons and I just need to put them with the sewing things. The sampler I started when I took an embroidery workshop at UNIT in Toronto many, many years ago. I love pink and green, as you can tell. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. I was thinking I was going to do back stitching on the lettering in blue. And I do have a blue DMC floss to do that in. And this can go in with my sewing things. Several years ago, Tracy of Nora George Yarns sent me this fun sign. And when I was in Toronto and working, this was in my office. For now, I'll pop it in the window. Oh my goodness. These are all my swimming awards from when I was younger. So my bronze medallion, and I can tell they're mine because it is the Royal Life Saving Society, not just Life Saving Society. And my cross, and then I have my Red Cross white badge. I don't know why I wore that, maybe. I'm not sure which one was the white badge. Maybe they were switching over. I have my orange. All of water safety. Blue, green, all of the colors of the Red Cross awards that I got as I was growing up. I used to take diving. Oh my goodness. This is like a treasure trove and a very, very, very long time ago when they weren't colors, water safety barracuda. I wonder if my NLS is in here too. That's my national, oh my goodness. Little Tracy is in here. Oh, okay, I guess I'm gonna need to go through this. That's gonna go on the desk, I was gonna say, I don't know that my NLS is in there, but I do think actually my NLS, I have my whistle still from when I got my NLS. And in my drawer here, I believe I have my little medal for getting my National Life Guarding Award. So I need to go through these things. My mom just called and I had a lovely conversation with her. I told her that I found my swimming awards while I was just sort of doing a bit of straightening. I also came across my watch and my watch, the battery needs to be replaced. So I guess I should probably take that in and get that done. And I have my lovely essential oils. What do you call this thing? not a vaporizer, um, 
not an atomizer essential oils thing from sage so i should probably take that downstairs this would be nice in my bathroom actually and uh, just pop some lavender in every once in a while so i will put that at the top of the stairs to go downstairs if you remember what this is do you remember these a film holder but the great thing about these things too was they were great for holding beads and so in here I have some lovely seed beads and so I used to take the film containers stick whatever seeds bead seeds seed beads whatever the label was on there and then I would know which one so these are frosted glass beads had the size on it and reusing at its best oh this is really really old inside this tin is something very lovely little lavender sachets so i should probably pop those in the drawers so that my project bags smell wonderful they don't make these anymore this is a Canadian penny, so find a penny, pick it up, then all day you'll have good luck. There we go, it's gonna be a lucky day. I'm gonna pop that in my pocket. It is slowly getting there and it definitely needs a very good dusting. I have the Lazy Susan here, which is lovely. It has got little bits and bobs of everything in it. And I think the Lazy Susan is going to be left for another day but I do see that one of my old cross stitch pieces which is a lovely bookmark I made way 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 back when I have this book that was given to me when I graduated from university every time I would start to try to read it I'd fall asleep my goal is to get through it and read it one day. So bookmark, book, plans. That's what I say, best laid plans, right? One day, one day I will read this book. In the meantime, Lazy Susan is going to be put aside for working on another day. And now we are pretty much down to the bare bones. This needs a really good dusting. This is where I'm supposed to put my little bits of yarn so it's easy to grab and take with me. So that will go on here. along with the pair of scissors. I also have this lovely botanical tray, which is lovely to put little bits on. And I have these beautiful stork scissors as well. So I'll put those there. Look at that. We now have, for the most part, a cleared off dresser top. I do have my two gorgeous Laura Shepard yarn bowls and my wonderful Julia Smith ceramics yarn bowl. And they've got some fun pom-poms in them. So I will probably figure out another space for probably one or two of the yarn bowls. But for the most part, this is usually a pretty good space for it. I also have this beautiful ceramic bell that my childhood best friend gave to me. It's a little hard to hang things that go ting ting in this house because we do rock when people go by really quickly. So for now, I'm just gonna keep that safely there. I have two of these little glass trays with scissors on them so that when I am winding yarn I just need to put the yarn ends 
all in here and I can find the scissors really easily when I want to wind some yarn. Ah, <sighs> so didn't take too long, but it feels good. A couple things I have here. I have my lovely little, little chickadee. My mother gave this to me. She used to call me her little chickadee. So this is very special. And I have one of my Vanilla Squirrel Knitting Angels here as well on my Trisha Romance Mother's Arm picture. So this is cleared off. Today's job for May 5th is done. I get to choose out a project bag and I get to wind some yarn. When I do that, I need to make sure I take the ends and put them in the garbage so that we don't have a huge pile growing again. Now I do have some things that came off of the table that we will be dealing with another day. Namely, always something gonna fall. The Lazy Susan, but that is for another day, definitely. I do love this blue dresser. It has these wonderful drawers that are filled with my gorgeous project bags. That one there is by Vicki of The Beautiful Stitch. And then of course I have my Swift and my wonderful Nancy's Knickknacks ball winder. And at the bottom, there is space to store some bins with yarn and fibers. So this was definitely a piece that I have loved using for many years now, and it definitely needed to make the trek west with us. And I'm glad to say it is all cleared off and is looking great. We do need to deal with the piles on either side, but again, that's for the days ahead. So let's take a quick peek at the overall area. So the blue dresser is now clear. Both sides of the dresser do need to be straightened. There are a couple extra things that have been added to the desk and on the chair is the Lazy Susan. And then over here I have a little bin that has some yarn and things that need to be gone through. There's the book. I need to take downstairs and then I've put a few things on the sewing table. But overall, I think it's looking pretty good. We get to do something super exciting right now and that is open this drawer and choose out a project bag for my Shisui shrug. And I think I'm going to choose out a lovely So Sweet Violet bag. So this is my So Sweet Violet lovely stack. I have a sewing bag there. And I want a fairly large bag. And I think this one is perfect. This is my Celebrating Mice. Got this beautiful hand sequined butterfly on it. And going into the coronation weekend, having a lovely cast on of the Shisui Shrug. This one makes me very, very happy. So, project bag chosen. Now all that's left to do is wind some yarn and get some needles. We are just looking out the window of the crafting area in the loft and there are lots of Canada geese out on the mud flats and even a few little goslings just there up front. I see four of them and the second set I can see a little bit of movement from little geese as well. So let's pop out, take a look and hear some of those lovely nature sounds before we end off for today.
Those goslings are definitely growing in leaps and bounds. Thank you so much for tuning in with me today as I have cleaned off that blue dresser. I knew it would feel good. It was just a matter of getting to it. So that is now done. Who knows what we'll get up to tomorrow. It might be the china cabinet. It might be the lazy Susan. We shall see. Until then, I am wishing you a wonderful day, evening, whatever time it is for you. And I look forward to checking in with you tomorrow and we'll see what we get up to then. But I'm pretty sure those goslings will be even bigger than they are today. Bye. I have five skeins of yarn, but I am only going to wind two of them. One of the pink grapefruit and one of the glacier. I call this Nancy's knickknacks, but it's actually Nancy's knit knacks ball winder. And, oh, look at this gorgeous, gorgeous pink grapefruit skein. Give it a good untangle. Pop it up on the swift scissors at the ready and let's get winding winding yarn is it a reward or a workout And we are ready to cast on.